All right, so today I finally able to work on the car today, or actually I've worked on it uh, sometime last week, where I just went ahead and just removed the starter, uh, dropped the exhaust, to, dropped the exhaust from the downpipes, and uh, loosened the transmission mounts. So pretty much all I got to do now is just take off the bolts that's hooked up to the that hooks the transmission up to the engine, and drop the transmission down. So yeah. That's pretty much all I gotta do, and then just put it in a new transmission, and we should be ready to go. I went ahead and used a engine stabilizer, or yeah, engine support bar, or whatever, to go ahead and hold the engine in place, because once I take off the, the transmission, the motor is gonna drop forward. So if you look down in here, that, that piece of metal piece that runs, uh, what is it, horizontally, it will go ahead and hit the pulley is going to hit that part and it might break so you need to support the engine in some way what you could do also a little bit cheaper if you don't got all this stuff is just go ahead and just put like a piece of wood or something between the underneath the pulley and that support bar or whatever so most there. importantly just make sure the first thing you do before working on this car once it's up in the air or whatever is just to disconnect the ground battery so that no energy is going into the car also, when you go ahead and take off the starter, you need to take this piece off too, so you want no live sparks or nothing like that. So the main thing is just went ahead and disconnected the intake manifold, uh, move the power steering reservoir out of the way. In my case, because I have it um, inlets rerouted, so they kind of was in the way, so I had to move these over. And yeah, took the starter out. <laughs> So that's the only thing you have to do on top of the top of the engine part to drop the transmission. Okay, so I realized I had one more bolt to take off and that's this 13 millimeter that's holding these uh, two lines. They're turning the output line for the oil cooler. That runs the oil cooler. So the thing is, none of my sockets is like, have enough room. So once I put the socket on, I can't put the, the driver onto it to turn it or whatever. So I went ahead and did was, I went ahead and just put a 13, like so, in it. So it gave me enough room to go ahead and just stick it in there and able to turn it like so. So that's just my way of doing it. I, most likely there should be another way of um, doing it or whatever, but this is just the way I figured out how to take this piece off right here. Um, so once that's out, I just pop these out and then I should be able to go ahead and just go around the transmission and just take off the bolts and then drop it down. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. I am too smart! I am too smart! S-M-R-T! I mean S-M-A-R-T! So I'm taking off the flywheel right now and behind here you should see like a black cover. It looks like this. So you gotta just pull it back out and it comes right out. And use a 17 millimeter with a little extension or whatever and uh, you could get it out. So as you turn, you can like turn it like so and you can see each and all the bolts. You can see it. And just, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's what the bolts look like. So you just go ahead, put it in, turn it and just move this around and you should be able to get, move yeah, this piece around and you should get to all the bolts and it just comes right. All right, so I have the torque converter out and it's six bolts that uh, encase the whole torque converter. So it looks pretty good, but once I took it off, I was like, what the heck? This is what I found and it's the flywheel is like completely separated, like right around here. Like, see this? That's not supposed to be happening right here. So, yeah, like I need to get another flywheel and I'm gonna have to take off these bolts right here. But the only thing is with these bolts, uh, I usually can lock the flywheel in and um, once you put the socket in to give it torque, this would not spin. But now since it's not connected to anything, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to figure out how to take these bolts off. So uh, I'm not gonna deal with this today, most likely I'm going to deal with it tomorrow or the day after, uh, pretty much right out of time for today to work on this, so uh, if anybody have any suggestions or have seen this before or whatever, just put it down in the comments, let me know, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.